the week. It's almost over for me. I'm almost done. It's Wednesday. <laughs> Clap. Stop clapping. They'll do whatever I say. <laughs> Happy Wednesday, everyone. Well, not if you're Whoopi Goldberg, AKA Karen Johnson. Yeah, who knew Whoopi was a Karen? I thought that was only for white people like Toyota Priuses and skiing. <laughs> Roll it, Francis. Good morning and welcome to The View. Um, you all saw the news. Whoopi will be back here in two weeks. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so cute when one of their side gets punished. They sulk like they ran out of raw cookie dough in the green room. Yeah, ABC suspended Whoopi for two weeks because she said the Holocaust had nothing to do with race. She said this on a show called The View, which makes everything about race, except now. The Holocaust isn't about race. No. No, it's well, not about maybe race. Maybe ethnicity. Well, they no, consider Jews it's about, a different it's, race. But it's, it's not about race. It's not about well, race. What is it about? Because you, it's about man's inhumanity to man. Yeah, that's heroically stupid. Even for the view. What did she think Hitler meant when he said master race? The 100 meter dash at the Berlin Olympics? So for the first time in the view's history, it's not about race. Just some whites exterminating six million other whites. So what's the big deal? Her reasoning reminds me of the guy who looks at black on black crime and says, that's just them doing what they do. Of course, it's that if that callous person were me or you, we would be canceled faster than a Tinder date with Andrew Cuomo. But thanks to liberal privilege, Whoopi hangs on, which is fine since she apologized, but not before digging an even deeper hole than the one in her head. Here she is on Colbert, which is French for crushing boar. I, I feel being black when we talk about race, it's a very different thing to me. Mm -hmm. So I said that I, I felt that the Holocaust wasn't about race. People were very angry and they said, no, no, we are a race. And I, I, I understand, I understand. I, I felt differently. This wasn't based on the skin. You couldn't tell who was Jewish. They, they had issues with ethnicity, not with race, because most of the Nazis were white people and most of the people they were attacking were white people. So to me, I'm thinking, how can you, how can you say it's about race if you are fighting each other? Mm. We'll talk about putting Ben Gay on a sunburn. And I guess Colbert was too enthralled by Whoopi's logic to push back. He gave about as much resistance as Brian Stelter at the Cheesecake Factory. So what to do next? Well, you go on The View again and read the prepared boilerplate apology straight off the prompter and barely pretend you believe it yourself. It is indeed about race because Hitler and the Nazis considered Jews to be an inferior race. Now, words matter and mine are no exception. I regret my comments, as I said, and I stand corrected. I also stand with the Jewish people. That's a flip. So even though Whoopi would never defend me, I'm here to defend her. First, anyone going for deep political or histor historical analysis from The View, they deserve what they get. That's like watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta to learn more about the Civil War. <laughs> Calling The View a lively show of opinion is like saying Jeffrey Dahmer was on the keto diet. <laughs> but this is a country of free speech, and that includes The View. Remember, free speech is about the worst kind of speech, not the best. And The View is without fail the worst. It's a show that makes Gloria Steinem think, mm, maybe women should have stayed in the kitchen. <laughs> they make the gibbering homeless on your street corner sound like the First Continental Congress. Of course, the media is way more offended by Joe Rogan's thoughts on COVID than this rewriting of the Holocaust. And hilariously, it was The View that wanted Joe Rogan censored. Yes. Hasn't he been also chastised and corrected and then he just goes back to his craziness again? I mean, I don't know that he can be reformed. Well, and that's from a fright-wigged clown that's had more offensive crap fly out of her pie hole than a busted sewer pipe. <laughs> but it's interesting how many allies Whoopi has to save her. Here's another bozo. Everyone knows Whoopi Goldberg. She's been on TV for decades. If you don't know her heart, then you haven't been watching. This cancel yeah. culture is getting so out of hand. Oh, now it's out of hand. <laughs> You shut up. You only care because you know her. For once, try defending someone you don't like or agree with, which is what we do. 
And what I'm doing with Whoopi, I don't know her. I don't agree with her, but I'll defend her even if she won't ever defend me. But Whoopi actually did a great service because what she said is exactly what critical theory is saying. Remember that stuff that the left denied was in classrooms, but was in as many schools as frozen pizza and TikTok users? And remember how few could actually explain it? Well, Whoopi did a bang up job articulating their premise. And it's that whites are incapable of being victims. They live to oppress and therefore they cannot be victims even of each other. When the Nazis exterminated Jews, it was just white on white crime. Who cares? Especially if you're black. As researcher Christopher Rufo says, CRT points out that whiteness is already racist by its very color, which seems pretty racist. And it allows you to lump Jews in with the rest of the evil whites, like the Nazis, serial killers, and the cast of Seinfeld. And when, they're in, when you become inconvenient to their cause, blacks, Asians, and Hispanics become white too. Just ask Larry Elder or any black person who isn't to the left of Karl Marx, who, if I remember correctly, was white. But CRT is designed to place people in only two racial boxes, white versus black, where Jews, Asians, Latinos, and other lighter-skinned non-whites may find themselves shoehorned into the oppressor's box if they don't act right, and especially if they reject CRT. True, if you don't fall in line, then you're as bad as a Nazi, or worse, a white guy. Race, according to CRT, is only important to the color line between white and black, and everything else is irrelevant. And that's how the Holocaust gets whitewashed. So Goldberg, a Jewish name she appropriated, said on TV what CRT experts have been expounding for years, that in the hierarchy of oppression, whiteness sits alone at the top, like the fats and sugars at the top of the food chart. And you can never judge success, struggle, or failure any other way. And to maintain that hierarchy, you equate Nazis with Jews under the umbrella of whiteness. Now, really, I don't think Whoopi meant all of that. But given that she's a Goldberg, you know, she should have known better. Let's welcome tonight's guest. She's killed more deer than Interstate 80. Townhall.com editor and Fox News contributor Katie Pavlich. It took him just over 10 years to conquer the comedy scene in Alaska. Now he set his sights on New York. <laughs> Actor, writer, comedian Jamie Lissau. <laughs> She's burned more bridges than an arsonist with an easy pass. Fox News contributor, Count Two. And he once stubbed his toe on a pyramid. My massive sidekick and the NWA's world television champion, Tyrus. Clever. Clever. So, Tyrus, I go to you first for no. Gee, I wonder why. Hmm. You and I shall never part. No, no, okay. Uh, I love color purple. Yes. You know, Greg, I, I agree with you by 85%. Right. Brilliant as always. I'll take that. Um, two things that were on the view. Mm -hmm. One, you cannot have conversations with people you're not comfortable with. Right. And what we saw on that show was Whoopi was going down, her own personal beliefs were coming out, mm -hmm. and her peers said she's hanging herself. Let's enjoy the fire. Really? You think that? Bayar said, ask her a question again to get her to repeat it. Mm -hmm. Then you saw when your friend has been suspended, she's gone, okay? <laughs> Where Whoopi was coming from, I understand. Whoopi is coming from an, the older, <clears throat> the older African-American perspective on racism, which American has, um, when America has dumbed down race to one thing, either you're black or you're white, mm -hmm. which is demeaning to black people because they don't care if you're Jamaican or you're African or you're from Australia. You don't get that. Right. You don't get that identity. You're just black. Mm -hmm. So the way she was describing it was she was trying to, from the American, African-American perspective is that you're white. So you get a pass, but where she's wrong is the Jews are the one group because of their religious beliefs that they're still separated and they get it from both sides. Yeah. And there's also this resentment, especially in the 60s, 70s, and 80s. So when she was giving her perspective, she was wrong because she didn't think about, and she said it, ethnicity. Yeah. Because the, the racism in the world is far more direct. It's about DNA, it's mm -hmm. bloodline. That's way of Scotland, Ireland, mm -hmm. Britain is not Whiteland. 
Yeah. You know, they're all different <laughs> and they have horrible names for each other. Right. And they know the difference between this and that. And you know what I'm saying? And, and African Americans would always relate to that. But she's been around the world enough to where she should have known better. Mm -hmm. But when you work for a show, and this is a reliable source, remember, Bodyguard for Life. Yeah. That during the breaks, they all go to the green room. They don't speak to each other. Right. They're not friends. Crabs in a bucket. And the one thing we know about the other side, well, well, crabs in a bucket. One tries to crawl out, get your ass back in here. You've been here with us. And the other thing crabs do is they eat each other. Mm. Really? And that's, yeah, you should, crabs got it rough. I don't, I don't know a lot about crabs. But, <laughs> but that's what they do. Bayard didn't look upset. Yeah. She didn't say, I've known her for this and that, and she's a good person. She said, she's gone for two weeks, you know that, okay. But that might have been a legal thing, though. Don't you think? Because, like, whenever we've done that, we all do the thing like, oh, whoop. That I'm sorry. I, I missed her interview where she came out and was talking about Whoopi the person and how good she was and, yeah. you know, and that. And here's the deal. There was a moment for redemption. She could have said, Whoopi, you're missing the point. Yeah. It's about ethnicity. I understand your struggles, but here's this. But they didn't do that. They were like, ooh, watch her yeah. burn. They, they that, did. That's what you do on TV, though, Jamie. You're white. <laughs> and you're in the whitest state in the world, Alaska. Uh, right. Did this story reach Alaska? <laughs> So I'm going to be honest with you, Greg. I would like to never hear from Whoopi again, and I think The View mm. should be canceled. Oh, I just wanted to get that off my chest. Um, <laughs> Do you have a lot it, of... What did you ask me that was unrelated to what we're talking I about? I want to hear <laughs> any of your latest View jokes. So I, <laughs> I did look up. I knew Whoopi Goldberg had to be a fake name. Yes. Isn't it funny when you hear, like, a serious story, and they're like, then Whoopi said. <laughs> You're like, they should use her real name. This sounds insane. Yeah. Do you know how... You know how that's how you figure out your view name? You know how that thing was going around? It was like to get your porn star name. Yeah. You take like the name of your first pet mm -hmm. and then like the road, the street you grew up on. Yes. Which yes. They, mine doesn't even make sense. I grew up on Tool Avenue and I had a cat named Gigantic. It doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> um, but your view name is your favorite <laughs> childhood prank followed by your favorite Jewish name. So I would be like Hand Buzzer Horowitz. Um, <laughs> and would be. But this, this, yes. was, this was, to be serious, this was crazy to me because. The, the Colbert thing was where she doubles down yeah, right. and you get to see the truth, which is fine. But then it was almost like sad to see like the coerced mm -hmm. apology. Right. Like what, what, what is the point? Why even bother? And it's not cancel culture. It's take two weeks off and come back culture. Yes. They, well, see, they get the take off two weeks yeah. culture. We get the cancel culture because Joy Behar, if any of us did anything like that, they, 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 all of them would come after us, especially Tyrus, I would assume, but also you because, you know, you like guns. Well, of course, obviously. I'm surprised I'm even on the show because, yes. you, you know, have to be very careful if you come on the show, Greg. Your career could be in <laughs> yes. great jeopardy. Yes. Uh, no, you're right. I mean, yeah. you, we can forgive her, right? She did apologize. The suspension after the apology maybe was too much, but this forgiveness and move on and learn and grow and this kind of behavior doesn't work one way. Yeah. So if we're going to engage in that, the left has to do it too. And the left is not waging a war on anybody who strays from any kind of line of what they believe in and have destroyed people's careers, their lives. They don't care if you're homeless out on the street. That's their goal, actually. And it, it, this incident, I think, proves how shallow the conversation on The View has become the book they were talking about on the Holocaust, if she would have read the first page, it's a quote by Hitler that says, the Jews are undoubtedly a race, but they are not human. Right. Page one. So she yes. could have prevented all of this by just doing a little bit of studying, but it's all about her worldview and the critical race theory thing. Yeah. Critical race, race theory and this idea of seeing everything through this new prism of intersectionality on the left leads to a gross distortion of history, whether it's the Holocaust or the foundation of the country. Mm. It forces you to kind of push your own ideology into history without context or the facts, and that's exactly what she tried to do. Final point, there are black Jews. Yes, there, there are. are Ethiopian Jews, so not all Jews are white. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, we're talking a lot about white Jews. Think that we should acknowledge yeah, that Sammy they're Davis not all Jr., white. rest his soul, would probably have something to say about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cat is not a black Jew. No. Really? No, but I want to ask you, I am sad because Whoopi is my favorite person on The View. Mm -hmm. She's the only one I could probably hang out with. She has to be, right? Yeah, <laughs> if I mean, not Whoopi. It's like, being the, it's like me the t being the tallest dwarf. You have her on here. Yes. Two weeks off. <laughs> oh, that'd be great. But she's, she's, uh, they say that she, she's claiming that she might quit. Yeah, look, there's a few things where, you know, like if you're on TV and you have to talk about it, you're like, well, gotta be really careful. Right. And like the Holocaust is definitely one of those things. Mm -hmm. So it's wild to me that someone would get out there and be like, Hitler, actually not a racist. Like that's, <laughs> that's wild. But again, 
everyone says dumb stuff in conversation. Not everyone converses on television yes. about a bunch of random stuff every single day. So stuff like this is going to happen, and I don't think she should have even been suspended. Not because she wasn't wrong, because she was wrong. But if she wouldn't have said that, she would have never known she was wrong or why she was wrong. And she apologized, so we should forgive, because it's impossible to not say something stupid. We're doing it. We do a show every night, and I've, I've been doing this since Red Eye days. I mean, it, it's going to happen. That These things will happen. It, it could be a short circuit in the brain or a casual throw-off line. Or an emotional moment. Or an emotional moment. And I mean, or, you know, and it's like, and then all the, yeah, you wish you could do a better job. And, and, but our, the difference is we're being audited as we're talking. Yeah. Like, the, the, it, what amazes me is that people can't tell the difference between, like, an expert and a, people having a conversation. Right. It's like going after Rogan. The Rogan thing. Yeah, it's like, right. it's like that. He literally talks for 18 hours. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's no like, one allows redemption. Yeah, yeah, there's no redemption, there's no forgiveness. But we're gonna change that, right? Because, oh, we've got a huge announcement. Jamie is getting a hysterectomy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> we are taking the show on the road again. I'm so excited, February 21st. To the 25th, we are headed to Texas. Yeah, we're leaving the country. <laughs> we'll be at the iconic Gillies in Dallas all week long to get your free, free tickets. You go to foxnews.com slash Gutfeld and look for the link on the side of the page. And I don't mean sausage link. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.